Hi and welcome back to MRTV from the MRTV Experience. I'm here with Artur Sitchov. Hi. Hey. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. Let's That's destroy it. Okay. Yeah, yeah let's course. destroy the whole studio. <laughs> yeah, so we are here at the MRTV headquarter. We've been at uh, VR Days. You've yep. been there for like three days. I was there for one day. And yeah, we met there. And then the last, yeah, today was the last day. And then we did the whole day VR Days. And then you drove me back to Dortmund Correct. with your beautiful Tesla, which nice is uh, which is unbelievable. Yes. First of all, yeah. Elon, love that looking. car. <laughs> really love You're it. Rocking. And um, yeah, thanks for the ride back to Dortmund. And yeah, we, we took the time to yeah to also show you my studio. Absolutely. You like it? I love it. Okay, man. It's freaking awesome. That's, I mean, look at this stuff. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just, thank it's you, just man. beautiful. Really yeah. beautiful. Thanks. Well done. Well thanks. Done. Thanks. And we're making this video because you have tried lots of headsets, right? This is this is what right. I offer. People can come here, can can yeah. join the MRTV experience and can try all of, all, out all of the headsets. Yeah, so in my work, I try almost all of them, right. but I still uh, didn't try all of it right. before. So exactly, yeah, that yeah. was amazing. Cool. So um, yeah, tell us a bit. What what uh, you wanted to try the reverb, right? You had Correct. you hadn't seen the reverb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, How was your feeling? So I'm like in so many in general, we're big fans of mixed reality headsets, oh, and, right. and the reason right. for that is they are super easy to set up. Right. They are. Um, very you know uh very steady headsets and like almost unbeatable headsets right. so it's like you can use them on conference and uh they're yeah. pretty well priced headsets let's right. say you you're using the lenovo explorer for so three uh, years right lenovo it's like explorer it's like never breaking best, right never breaking <laughs> and you know it's on all the uh, all the conferences we are showing somnium and right. like people are dropping it sometimes and, right. and it's just unbeatable and that's cool i think for the price what they are taking for it it's just an, an, an amazing yeah. uh, value you can get it for 150 today, dollars or exactly it's, it's like, like amazing value even today cool. uh, given the fact so yeah i mean mixed reality great setup easy setup uh ease of use and i think for a lot of people for a lot of like normal consumers that is a very important factor right right just, i agree you, you just want to plug it in and right honestly you just use one usb one HDMI, you plug it in, and that's it. You're ready to go. Right. So uh, about the reverb, did it like uh, meet your expectations? Um, it's in some points yes, in some points not. But to be honest, um, let's say the, the the screen resolution is great. Yes. But the screen, uh, let's say the the uh, the field the of view, and also this kind of like Mura. a little bit of fo fogging yeah. effect, Mura. that's bothering me. And, and right. I I think just because of that, I I those two things, I wouldn't buy one. Right. Like, yeah. Yeah. But what what I really agree, blew me away, by the way, HP, what you did really well, is like the size and the form factor of the device. It looks like a second generation of uh -huh. VR headsets. It's yeah. small. It's really small. Right. And it's very nice build. So there you have. Thumbs up. Yeah, it's true. Agreed. Agreed. This is really nice. Just like if they could make the FOV a bit bigger, right? And the screen a little bit better screen. Yeah, right. That it would be an amazing device. Yeah, right. Honestly. Yeah, who knows, right? Next generation. Who We're knows waiting. what's gonna happen? We're waiting. We're waiting. It's HP. HP. <laughs> yeah, Come right. On. Cool. Yeah, but it's good that you tested it now just to see it for yourself yeah. how it feels like, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And you wanted to see the Valve Index, actually. Uh, yeah, I've you tried had it, seen I've it before. Tried, I've seen it before. We we thought to, to buy it uh, for Sony, but we also have so many headsets we like didn't need it. We okay. have Valve uh, controllers at our at yeah. our office where we integrate, you know, the the controls into Somnium, and now it's working. But right. um, the Index is actually really great. Like it's first thing when I took it on, it's uh, comfort. It's right. very comfort it's and super well balanced headset in terms of the weight. Yeah. So that was that was super cool, and uh, the screen is great mm -hmm. um, because I immediately asked like, it's, "Is it the same resolution as HP Reverb?" You said no, and I said, yeah. "Really? Okay, that that looked like the same resolution." So that's well with the big FOV, with the big that's, FOV. That's so that's that's a really step up, and um, yeah, knuckles are great, uh, comfortable to use, and in terms of the uh, yeah, what what else it it, it offers you. Like all this geek stuff, you know, like the, yeah. the higher uh, frame rate right. and then the expandability maybe for the for some connecting right. things. So IPD adjustment, everything. Yeah, of course. There, right? Overall, y you don't miss anything. And then the price is a little bit on the higher side, but uh, it's justifiable, I would say. And, and it's, it's a pretty, good headset. It's, it's pretty amazing. good. I mean, 999 euro and you have everything inside a lot of what love you need. went into it. Yeah. I think a lot of love from you can, engineers. You can, you can feel the quality and you can feel it's a well-rounded product. Yes. And I think like right. Valve, in my opinion, how the pro engineering process was like, okay, guys, 
give me the best you can get. Like put all the features you want to put in yeah. in the headset or right. from your dream list, and they just put it in, and they said, okay. Yeah, done. but but also they also thought about that lots of people can use it because you don't need a twenty eighty Ti. That's exactly. why they. That's yeah, why, right. Exactly. Right? That's why Come they on. didn't go with a super high yeah. resolution yeah. because they want everyone to use it. Yeah, so I can, I can put it in my laptop with twenty seventy uh, Max Q, and then you know just run it easily, and yeah. it will work. And so. So, so these kind of um, thoughts, of course, play the role. They want to sell as many as possible. The only trade-off I can see, and okay. maybe there will be a, a connector for that, is that there is no inside-out tracking. Right. Like yeah. I still, that's why you I love mixed right? reality. Okay. I want inside-out tracking, and Oculus showed us that it's possible to do, you know, with with the four cameras, and you can right. do it perfectly. So yeah, I love the tracking too. Like right. ease of use, because external trackers is pain in the beep. So you know that's that's like one thing which always holds me because otherwise I only can carry the headset yeah. in my back and the laptop and that's it. Right. So you, you don't want to bring those space stations, right? So it's like from a the year in the one of Somnium on any conference, right? We've never brought any light tracker, lighthouse trackers to the conference because why would we? And okay. we always look and again nothing against those companies who who who, who do it, but. Um, like we always look at the companies, how they set up the trackers, and then mm. something doesn't work, and they like spend yeah. two hours running around mapping things. Yeah, we had Everyone today is as coming well. in, so in the just plan, switch yeah. in the, yeah, the Lenovo true. Explorer, right. and like, boom! Hi, here, yes, so new. Come on, here you can have a look. That's that's yeah, right. how we did. So that's that's a really strong selling point. Yeah. And now Rift S, it's coming, perfect, man. It's it nearly is. perfect. It is. I it is. I really don't miss the lighthouse stations. Not at all. No, no, no. Why would you? No. So that's uh, that's that's it. Yeah. Yeah. That's very important. Okay. So Valve, yeah, Valve Index is a pretty nice set. It's a pretty good. We give it. The, the thumbs up, right? Give us inside out tracking, then I'll like I'll I'll buy two. <laughs> but are you are you still gonna buy it anyways now, even with the base station? <clears throat> Look, um we have a lot of headsets as I said. Yeah. And right. for for us we, we just need to think like we, we definitely I think we'll buy it just for, to test stuff. Right. But I, I will have to think. I don't know. It's again we are then bound to lighthouses, so it will be right. only for the office headset. And right. like we need to think, do we need one for the office okay. if we have another like five pro- headset there? No, uh, yeah. That's that's right. a hard hard uh, purchase. But like if people have lighthouses already, yeah, it, that's perfect. That's an easy buy. Right. And yeah, would really recommend. Cool. Then you tried the Pimax 8K Plus, the pre-production right. model Correct. that I have with the bed strap. Yeah. The real strap is just so good. I tried it today at VR Days. Oh, man. You he, saw my video. We driving. He was telling about it all the time, how <laughs> yeah, good it is. I was really excited. Yeah, like, yeah, like honestly I excited. I can hear it. Yeah. I can hear it. It's just like a it. really amazing head strap. So we have in the office five, uh, 5K plus. So right. we're the Kickstarter backers. Right. Um, and I think what you showed to me uh, is better. Hmm. Uh, the screen is better. And I think the blacks are more black. And, and just be, overall, yeah. overall, it's just better screen at least like from my from my perspective uh, the the distortion is still there and yeah. it bothers me you get used to it after five minutes but especially when you move head from from up to down from from uh, from the top to the bottom the distortion on the lower part right like makes you feel you're moving but where you're not moving and yeah, I'm not I like I have no motion sickness at all ever I spent too much time in VR yeah. and still that gave me a little bit of that and okay. I was surprised so the the side distortion is I would not but, care about it. But I'm telling you, you should have you should have tried the real version that I tried yeah, at VR. It was VR so it's huge different. line all the time. Yeah, I know. Not I know. Possible to get there. Yeah, I had to. Like I, VIP no, 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 I had, I had there, to right? wait as well. Oh, really? I already oh, waited. Man. Yeah. So um, yeah. So they have less distortion. Really, yeah. they they really have less distortion now. I saw the I difference. Can, I can I can believe you. Yeah. yeah and so wow, it's yeah, you with have to less try distortion it. and a bit better screen, like you said, and uh, uh, and the a really comfortable shop. Uh, they have a winner. It's, believe it's me, it's a winner. Yeah, they it's, have a it winner. It could be a winner, but the price. We don't. We cannot discuss the price. Yeah, no, we know the price. We Everybody, know the price. Everyone knows the price. Everybody, a okay. thousand, of thousand. No VIP, you, but not you. Ah, <laughs> okay. So we'll thousand, disclose something here. No, a thousand three hundred. So it's for, for a long time, people know that already. One thousand three hundred for for that headset, if with a better screen. I think it's like it's. Um, I would I would compare it like the first comparison that comes to my mind is like it's one plus seven which used to be great value phones but now they got to the <laughs> point where it's like it's still good value but it's not as cheap as it used to be so that's what how I would compare that, that's 5X. right but but really if you see what they offer with the 8KX and the new strap it's not expensive okay, believe me I mean Pimax are our official partners so what oh yeah then, say? then we love Pimax, oh, it's, it's we love Pimax <laughs> so you go better buy Pimax all right. 
Oh, I didn't even know that you, they're your official yeah, partner. Yeah, they have oh, our they store. Have store. They have the store in Sony. Oh, okay, course. that's cool. The first VR hardware store okay, in that's cool. VR world. Yeah. Like, that's that's some pretty cool stuff. Cool. Yeah, okay, that was my the pre-production model. Very soon I'm going to have the 8KX here. Hopefully you're going to come to yep. the 14th December is the party here. Hopefully you can make it. If I'll you can convince your wife. Best. I'll crawl here <laughs> well, like, even by, by going uh, to Foos. Uh, yeah, uh, walking, yeah. Walking, yeah. <laughs> that would be amazing, yeah. And bring Vita as well. Of course. Um, yeah, and then you tried the HTC Vive Cosmos. Oh, HTC! Come on, guys. <laughs> oh. I told it. I told it to you yesterday on the on during VR days. But like, um, yeah, it's. I don't know where to start. Like the the screen is great. Like I let's start with the good start uh, good right. part because it's the shortest one in the whole <laughs> thing. I'm sorry. But uh, the screen no, is great. They have some other things this, too, this, not just the Yeah, screen. yeah, well, right. I'm joking. The screen yeah. is great and uh, because when I took it on, yeah. I told you like, normally I can easily guess like OLED, LCD, easy. But there I told you, is it OLED? And yeah. you said, no, it's LCD. And I was blown away. Yeah. That's one of the best LCDs screen is, I've this, ever yes. seen on any headset. The LCD screen is amazing, really. Like that's, I promise you, that's the case. But now the bad part starts. Like I'm not even talking about the tracking yet. Um, <laughs> And that is really bad, as I told you in the video. Yeah, so you showed me the, the wireless right. wireless adapter, right? Yes. And um, all good, like maybe a little bit bulky, but all good. The setup, fine, not so easy as uh, as it would like to be. Like the, quest, like, like the Quest? Like the Quest, just take it on and uh, ready. But um, And then you told me the price for the mm. wireless adapter. And euros. it turns out it's 400 euros. So yeah. like you are asking the price of the Quest for the wireless adapter for the Vive Cosmos. Like, guys, this is, in, in, really, in my opinion, I'm, I'm, I'm blown away. Yes, in in a kind of a negative part, I'm, I'm really blown away because this yeah. should be, and I don't understand the reason. Like, you should normally not want to earn money on this wireless adapter. Mm. Just sell it for the production price. And I don't believe that that's what it costs you to produce this no, wireless adapter. No, it I cannot be like that. So don't earn on this tough money. Just give it, yeah. let people have the wireless stuff and subsidize this to actually buy, sell the, the headset. That should be the business decision, in my opinion. I, I agree. They, they should put more effort on the on the Vive Port Infinity, like their um, subscription. Of course, it, that's what good. you're trying to sell. And, and it's, it's, good it's, good. It's, it's good idea. It's good. It's good. It's not bad, really. Yes. Uh, it's Netflix for VR games. Yes. Okay, take my money. Yeah. Really, actually, really I agree good. with you. I agree with you. It's, it's a good idea. Just like, um, yeah. So don't kill people on buying, no, don't, don't let them go bankrupt on buying your headsets and let, let them go bankrupt on buying your wife for subscription. So that's yeah. that's kind of the, the thing. But right. then the tracking, of course, is like, uh, yeah, that's a fiasco uh, in general. <laughs> that's because that's, and, and I'm really, I'm really like, I'm used to mixed reality headsets and mixed right. reality headsets normally are behind the, uh, the, the uh, lighthouses and even behind the Oculus. They yeah, got sure. better, yeah. much mm -hmm. like Odyssey Plus is my favorite headset in, mm -hmm. in, in general. Like, taking the price in consideration, the quality of the screen um, and the, um, the tracking, mm -hmm. Samsung Odyssey wins it all. You have like $250 and you have zero screen door effects. $250? Yes. Everything is inside. Samsung, like, you are the best. That's how you should sell the hardware. No, really. You should do guys, this quality. Samsung Odyssey Plus, $249 yes. on Amazon yes. on, for, for Black Friday. Come on, that's a must buy. And the sound on AKG yeah, it's, headphones it's is good. amazing. It's, it's a good it's headset. Really yeah. good headset. So, if I compare this to to the tracking of of, of Cosmos, uh, that's really, really, really bad. It's you really you know, the, there's no you, you lose the tracking all the right. time. You cannot put the the controllers close to your camera. I don't know whether they will be able to whether they will be able to uh, to fix it with the software. But you have six cameras on your headset. Why <laughs> yeah. six? Like honestly, because uh, it's one more than five, like the Rift S. That's true, <laughs> right? That's uh, but unfortunately, maybe that's the truth, you know. But it is. It's, it's a utilize decision, those yeah. those cameras, and again, see through thing is, it's not that it's um it's colorful. Yeah, but, but it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. It it looks strange, and it looks strange in terms of the distance yeah. to your thing, and also the the um, the pass through is terrible. The the pa really. yeah exactly. So the path like the the uh, the latency when I move my hand and I see through the camera. It's like almost half a second, you know, and that's okay. too, too too big for the too much. yeah too much and um, yeah. So overall, if that headset would cost four ninety nine, 
and the uh, the wireless adapter would cost 50 or 100 I, I would uh, say pay 100 for this 150 even for me but no, not I 400 say 50, euro 50 don't listen 50 <laughs> then yeah. i'd say you know what we can give you a pass for some things but not for the tracking but for yeah. some things we'd say okay fine great screen good yeah. sound get good price but for like 759 plus 400 for for the wireless adapter euros. it's a no go euros it's yeah. a no go it's just simply no go it's too expensive so we are not buying it's omnium wife cosmos because there's no budget for that unfortunately like we don't want to spend that uh, how about the controllers uh the controllers are super heavy and i would not like they can be heavy but the balance of the controllers are towards the front part so you have to really always put some effort to hold them, and after ten minutes you you are really tired. Like the yeah. the the uh, Samsung Agreed. Odyssey controllers are almost two times lighter, or maybe like one and a half times lighter than yeah. than that, and that's you can feel it because like in social we are in some new space we sometimes spend hours with our right, community, right. and I'll be tired by spending. And I heard the battery for the controllers is not so good not as well. So no, not this, it's, it's so bad. if that is the case, then like I don't know, uh, the LEDs are great. And everybody should look at this LEDs and like. Yeah, but you won't even see them in when, when you're in VR. Yeah, true story. Just you like if you them. have the bad pass. But if you look cool when <laughs> everybody else is looking at you. But <laughs> yeah, you know, like overall, as I said, yeah, the the price and the the those uh, shortcuts uh, are it's actually it's a problem, and yeah, something has to change. And uh, I think we've talked a little bit with uh, HTC about that, and okay. they, I think they know, but it has to change faster, you know. It's a bit too late. I, th I have the feeling ugh, the people have already bought the Rift S, the Valve Index. Oh, for this year is late. For it's and this Christmas been, is late yeah. already. Like Quest this will Christmas, dominate it. This Christmas will people it. will buy the Quest and they will love the shit out yes. of it. Right? Yes. And the, yeah, the controllers are also so much better. They are lighter. Yeah. They, they, they only take one battery and Absolutely. the tracking is perfect. And, and people ask us a lot on, uh, on, on our Discord and so many like, what should we buy? What headsets should we buy? And I always ask, you know, you want a PC uh, headset VR or wireless? And if they say, I have PC, I want a PC one. So we say Odyssey Plus, still great value for the great money. For that the money, best, it's the unbelievable. Best. Yeah. And then if it's wireless, it's Quest, and then it's done. So, yeah. of course, the next one after Odyssey Plus is, uh, um, you know, Rift S. I yeah. would say it's great. That's, that's a great value for yep. the great. Uh, I love great that money. headset. It's great. And I was surprised. I was, you know, I, I first I looked at the specs of Rift yeah. S, and then and then I tried uh, and played a lot of the Rift S, and I was positively surprised right. how good it is. Mm -hmm. Like even given the lower frame rate and yeah, stuff, yeah, eighty eighty you hertz. You don't feel it. No, it's not at all. It's really good. It's so, yeah, uh, Odyssey Plus, Rift S, and then Oculus Quest. That's the okay. top three. Uh, and on the high end, on the high end, I'd say. Valve Index and uh, Pimax. So that right, would be, right. and the Pimax, but again, uh, I didn't try the, the newest yeah, one, but, but uh, I can trust, trust me, what, you, what you say. It's amazing, so if yeah. what you say is the, the case, and it it's, is the it case, is the case yeah. then then Pimax uh, yeah, is for the choice. very high end. For the for very, very high, high end, yes. but then it's like zero screen or effect, great screen, FOV is amazing, and I think right. FOV is super important. It's great for the immersion. For yeah, the immersion, for it's, it's freaking yeah, amazing. For like yeah. fighting simulators where you have to see if someone is coming from the side. Right. Uh, that's that's an important. And now it's even comfortable thanks to the new um, strap. Right. It's oh, it's right. good. Yeah. So, and it's light. Like Pim Pimax looks like it's super heavy, and when you take it first time in your hands, it's it's like it's two times lighter than you would expect. Right. Like that's really the immediately wow. uh, the reaction. Yeah. So they have something good on their hands. They now just must be able to really sell it. They must produce it. True. Pimax, right? True. Yeah. So I hope they can do it. We have to see about that. All the best to you guys, yep. Pimax, but you have to deliver that. It's amazing. You have an amazing product, but now Absolutely. deliver, deliver yep. it. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, cool. Anything else you did you test it? No, I think that's. Uh, yeah, I mean, in general, Lenovo Explorer is still good. Yeah, for the I price. Mean, yeah. yeah. But I think now for $249, um, dollars, Samsung Odyssey Plus. Yeah, yeah, right? for sure. For that, for that money, yeah, yeah, yeah. IPD adjustment, OLED, it's just better. But, but Odyssey Plus is almost two times as big as Lenovo Explorer. And Smaller, you mean? Yeah, uh, the, the, the Odyssey Plus is bigger. Like the the footprint yeah, of the headset okay. is bigger. Yeah, right. Okay. Um, the Long Explorer is a very tiny headset. Right. You can bring it and easily. It, and it, and it has trouble. this flip up. Yes. Flip and that's good. like a, that's a working horse. Like yeah. Long Explorer is a working horse, unbeatable, unstoppable. Right. Mine also still works. It's there. Yeah, it's of course, and yeah. it, and it's a great device. So Lenovo, I mean, second generation is waiting. Yeah, really. And wow, I would love a second generation. Just talking about Explorer. Lenovo, by the way, we just switched from uh, from from Alienware to Lenovo notebooks. Okay, and, and how is it? Laptop and amazing laptops. Okay, like cool. they're thinner, they're right. lighter, 
running 2017 Max Q, never overheating, never losing the power, Perfect. never throttling, and all the ports uh, on the back of the laptop. You have first of all, you have all the ports on the back of the laptop, also okay. on the sides, but majority on the back. So very comfortable to connect. Okay, and they are lightened up with LEDs, so mm -hmm. you see where you're connecting. Ah, in, that's in, nice. In, in Alienware, I had to always look yeah, like yeah. is Did it I HDMI it, yeah. or yeah, is it USB? Yeah. So. That is amazing. It's like the the details on that laptop cool. is amazing, and it's two and a half times cheaper than anywhere. How much did you pay? Oh, for twenty seventy, uh, one terabyte SSD and one terabyte uh, HDD, so hard drive. Right. Plus, I think sixteen gigs of gigs of RAM. Uh, so basically, almost topped up specs, uh, 1.5 K in euros. Okay. Yeah. And then where the same Alienware would cost you. 3.6, 3.5 K. I'd say that's that's kind of right about the price. Okay. And it's like. That's thick, and I love Alienware, nice yes. design, but like yeah. that thick, two times more heavy. Right. And that's just a bulkier yeah. thing. Okay, cool. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, thank you so much for sharing your Thanks thoughts about me. the headsets, yeah, yeah, that you checked here in the MRTV experience. I think it's very interesting for, for our viewers. Come here, guys. Yeah. And hey, <laughs> exactly. producers of head. the headsets, come here and listen to yeah. the real users, you know, right. like that's hardcore that's users, like hardcore every day. Users I put this on people every day. He'll tell you, he'll I'll tell, tell you, you what to do. And yeah, exactly. Sure. Yeah, so thank you, thanks again for coming. Thanks and if you me. also want to come over to the MRTV experience here in Dortmund, do it. It's like very easy to come here from London, from yeah, from all from all of even all of Europe. Car. Even if you have a Tesla, it's even better. <laughs> yeah, so come over to the MRTV experience. I'll be very happy, and you can check out all of the headsets. And the link is down in the description below if you want to get a ticket. Thank you for watching this. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, and of course. If you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. I'm looking forward to see you in the next video. I approve this message. Bye-bye. <laughs> see you.